types of building so these are some types of building bud joint lap joint where one plate is lapped on the other plate corner joint the corners are joint edge joint the edges of two plates are joint and then t joint a pilot welded joint is subjected to transverse loading f as shown in figure so we have a pilot welded joint subjected to transverse loading f both the legs of the pilot are 10 mm size and the weld length is 30 mm if the allowable shear stress of the weld is 94 megapascal considering the minimum throat area of the weld the maximum allowable transverse load in kilonewton is so we have given four options to find the maximum allowable transverse load in kilonewton so first of all let's know what is the meaning of pilot welding so a pilot weld it joins two surfaces and approximate right angles to each other so it joins the two surface and approximate right angle to each other so such a welding is called pilot welding and coming to question the given in the question are width of the pilot is 10 mm so this is the pilot welding may look like this so this width of the pilot is 10 mm that is s is equal to 10 mm and length of the weld is 30 mm so this welding length is 30 mm because it's 30 mm long and shear stress allowable is 94 megapascal the shear strength of the joint for single parallel pilot weld is p into throat area into allowable stresses that we know to equal to force upon area so when we want it for p p equal to a into to so that is here throat area into allowable shear stress so here throat area is t into l and shear stress as it is so we know length is 30 mm that is q1 now we have to find what is t yes and, and width of pilot here as well it is yes and from this a to o this line is t so we need to find this t value so we can write as sin 45 degree is equal to opposite side that is t upon hypotenuse side t upon s yes. this is t and s here by this t upon s that we can write t equal to s sin 45 so that is here t equal to s sin 45 that is equal to 707 s so since we know p equal to t l and tau so already t is 0.707 s 0.707 s l as it is and tau so we have s value we have l value and we have tau value so once we put all the values we get it as 199.37 newton or 19.93 kilonewton so that is option c is correct option a 60 mm long and 6 mm thick 
pellet weld carries a steady load of 15 kN along the weld. The shear strength of the weld material is equal to 200 megapascal. The backdrop safety is 2.4, 3.4, 4.8 or 6.8 we have to answer. So hence the given question is about pellet welding and the given are length of the weld is 60 mm that is equal to 0.06 meters. Width of the pellet that is S equal to 6 mm in meter it is 0.006 meters. Load of light 15 kN that is 15 into 10 dash to 3 Newton. Shear strength of the welded material is 200 megapascal. So, this is the shear strength of the welded material. We will find the allowable shear stress. Since we know shear stress equal to force upon area, force is P upon area is T into L for fillet welding, area is T into L and here in this diagram this is the T and this is the L the length of the weld that is already given also. So we have to find the T value and this angle is 45 degree so that we can write sin 45 is equal to this is opposite side T divided by hypotenuse side that is S T upon S. So, T we can write T equal to S sin 45. So, that is equal to 0 0.707 S yes, because sin 45 is 0 0.707. So, that is here T into L S sin 45 into L that is 0 0.707 into S into L. Since the S is given and L is also given. So, once we put all the values, we get shear stress as 58.93 megapascal. So, this is the working load or working shear stress. Since shear stress is 200 megapascal, that is allowable shear stress. Sorry, that is shear stress of the welded material and allowable shear stress is 58.93. Since we know factor of safety is equal to shear stress, shear strength upon working, working shear strength that is tau or allowable shear stress. So, 200 divided by 58.93. So, that gives 3.3. 39 that is nearly equal to 3.4. So, since the factor of safety is 3.4, that concludes option B is correct option. The size of weld in transverse pellet weld joint is equal to throat of weld upon 0 0.707, 0 0.707 into throat of weld. 0.707 into throat of weld, sorry 0.707 upon throat of weld, none of above. So, we have to answer size of weld in a transverse pellet welding. So, this is the transverse pellet welding. So, we know stress is equal to force upon area. So, for transverse pellet weld, force upon T into L because it is transverse fillet welding. So, it is F upon T into L and the S is size of the weld and the question is about size of the weld S and T is throat of the weld. So, in this figure we can see this is the S that is size of weld. And this is the T or this is the T throat of the weld. 
so we can write sin 45 is equal to t upon s because this is 45 opposite side divided by hypotenuse side that is why t upon s that is here sin 45 equal to t upon s so for s we can write s equal to t upon sin 45 so that is t upon 0 0.707 because sin 45 is equal to 0 0.707 since t is throat of weld divided by 0 0.707 so that concludes option a throat of weld sorry throat of weld divided by 0 0.707 is the correct answer the transverse pillet weld joint is designed for shear strength compressive strength bending strength or tensile strength so the question is about transverse pillet weld so this is the transverse pillet weld and when we apply the force when we apply the force on the transverse fillet weld the weld direction of load is perpendicular to length of the weld since transverse fillet weld is designed for tensile strength that is option d is correct option The parallel pillet weld joint is designed for this question is about parallel pillet weld. Options are shear strength, compressive strength, bending strength, or tensile strength. So, this is the transverse pillet, sorry, parallel pillet weld. These are the welds parallel pillet welding. So, in parallel pillet weld, the direction of load applied is parallel to the length of weld. Yes, the direction of load applied is parallel to the length of the weld. So, that concludes it is designed for shear strength. That is option A is correct option. The area of weld in butt weld joint is equal to. So, the question is area of weld in the butt welded joint the given options are h into l 0 0.707 h into l 0 0.2 h into l none of above so let's see what is butt welding so this is the butt welding and this is the height of weld that is h and stress equal to force upon area so the area is height into length so this height into the length on which the weld is been took place so if it is the plate so this length is l so area equal to h into l so for this and when it is a double V butt joint, we have 2H that is H1 and H2. This is H1 and this is H2. So for double V butt joint, area is equal to H1 plus H2 into L. So that is equal to H into L. So the area of butt weld is H into so that concludes option A, H into L is correct option. A 80 mm long and 6 mm thick pillet weld carries steady load of 20 kN along the weld. The shear strength of the weld material is equal to 250 MPa. The margin of safety is. So here the question is about margin of safety. 
so margin of safety is equal to factor of safety minus 1 so the given options are 3.2 1, 4.2, 2.3. .2 so first we will find the factor of safety and then we will find the margin of safety. So the given things in the problem are length 80 mm, length of weld is 80 mm that is here because the plate itself is 80 mm long that means length of weld is 80 mm and then width of fillet is 6 mm width of fillet is given that is 6 mm applied load 20 kilo newton that is equal to 20 into 10 raised to 3 newtons and shear strength of the welded material tau equal to 250 megapascal that is given here and we know shear stress equal to force upon area that is p upon t into l because it is fillet welding so it is t into l that is p upon s sin 45 into l that is p upon 0 0.707 s into l so when we want to find the p value so p will be tau into 0 0.707 s into l so once we put all the values that will be equal 84.84 kN that is p value and here the steady load applied is 20 kN so factor of safety is equal to maximum load carrying capacity that is 84. 84 kN divided by working load that is load applied that is equal to 20 kN. So 84.84 divided by 20 this gives 4.242 and margin of safety is equal to factor of safety minus 1 that is 4.242 minus 1 that gives 3.242. So therefore, option A is correct option that is 3.2 is correct option. Two plates of 25 mm thick are welded together by means of reinforced pulp welding and subjected to axial force of 1000 kN as shown in figure. So we have two plates 1 and 2 are subjected to axial force and are welded by the butt welding. The throat of the weld is 25 mm and permissible tensile stress is 100 Newton per mm square. What is the effective length of the weld? So here they are telling to find the effective length L value. So the given options are 40 mm, 50 mm, 35 mm and 20 mm. So here H is given that is 25 mm that is throat of weld 25 mm therefore H equal to 25 u and then force applied is 1000 kilo newton that is here and then stress equal to 100 newton per mm square that is tensile stress 100 newton per mm square so for butt welding the allowable tensile stress rho equal to force upon area and f upon h into l since it is butt welding it is just h into l we are not multiplying with any other factors therefore h as it is so that gives Rho is already 100, force applied is 1000 and H is 25U that is here and L we have to find. So once we calculate L is equal to 40 mm. So that concludes option A 40 mm is the correct option. 
which of the following types is not fillet weld so here we are given four options but joint lab joint t joint and corner joint we have to answer which among these is not a fillet welding so here we have but joint this is not a fillet welding lab joint this is an fillet welding and then t joint this is also an fillet welding and then corner joint this is also an fillet welding so that concludes but joint is not a fillet welding therefore option a is correct option and also fillet weld is the weld which joins two surfaces at an approximate right angles to each other so approximate right angle joint is called fillet joint so here it is not a approximate right angle joint the edge joint this is also and not a fillet joint because it won't join the joints at approximate right angle.